Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, and my hands is Fear Book Club, a graphic novel from Aftershock Comics, their seismic press uh, imprint. Uh, it's written by Richard Ashley Hamilton, Marco Matrone is the artist of colors, Dave Sharp is the letter, it came out early January. Uh, this is a really fun graphic novel. Um, so seismic is, uh, f is Aftershock's young reader uh, imprint. So this is a, f a horror comic. I'd say maybe geared towards, like, early teens would be my guess. There's definitely some jokes where I sat there and said, holy crap, I can't believe they wrote this. Uh, so I'm going to go, like, early teens. It would probably be uh, about the audience uh, for this. Uh, so the story's about this new kid named Wit who um, wants to survive in a school. Uh, you know, it's a new school. He's coming off a tragedy. His mother's uh, uh, full of anxiety. So, you know, there's all the school stuff that you'd expect. Um He's getting picked on, and he winds up joining the yearbook club uh, because he's really good with uh, photography, and his principal encourages him. And what we find out is the school is haunted. There's something going on here. Uh, and it's it's pretty solid. Like, the scares are pretty good. The twists and turns are pretty good. I think there's a lot of good jokes. I really like the kids. Um, there's a lot here to really really enjoy. I think uh, younger kids will probably appreciate it a little bit more. They're not going to look at the plot holes or just the, the holes in general that I had some issues with. Uh, big plot holes that never quite explain exactly what's going on. Like, you, you, you find out who's behind things, but, like, the mechanics behind it all never quite is there, uh, which is fine. I mean, kids are going to kind of overlook that. Adults will probably sit there and go, what's up? Uh, but also the the graphic novel leaves things fairly open. I mean, there, there's definitely room, tons of room for, for sequels here. Um, lots and lots of sequels and continuing this particular story. Uh, and it would work really well. Overall, like, I enjoyed it. Like, this is definitely geared towards younger readers. And as I said, I think adults might see a little bit of the holes that I did and, and get a little frustrated with it. But, I mean, there's there's some solid stuff in here. Um, it's, it's very enjoyable, and if you just want an entertaining read with some good jokes, um, some slight scares, nice twists and turns, you'll enjoy it. I mean, this is there's something kind of fun about it. And I'll, I'll admit, like, I was a member of your book club, so maybe I'm enjoying it just a little bit more because of that. Um, but there's there's some solid... Uh, there's still a lot of jokes in here that I, I sat there and was like, who the hell is this, is this graphic novel for? Because I don't know if kids necessarily will get it. Um, or it felt kind of like adult, not in like an X-rated way, but like a holy crap, I can't believe someone said that sort of way. Um, there's there's like there's cracks about school shootings and stuff like that, which, you know, maybe kids do. I have no idea. Um, the art, I think, is really good. I, I love the art in this. I love the style. I like the, I love the way the kids look. Um, overall, I mean, it's just it's just a solid, solid. It's a it's a good read. And I, I think geared towards those younger readers, it's it's a good one to give them. Um, it's not too scary if they're in they're into horror, if they're into that sort of story, they'll I think they'll appreciate it and uh, and uh, enjoy it. Like I, I definitely think this is one that is for younger readers, be appreciated by younger readers. Um, but I like it. Like it, it's cool. There's there's some interviews in the back. Um, you know, we give a little bit more about the comic itself. But overall, like, it, it's good. I think it, it, it nails it for the audience. Uh, out now in shops, you can go get this. Uh, we got a link beneath our video, putting your zip code, tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links. There'll be affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for hooking us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time. Keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.